Good morning, everyone. So, I keep getting asked this question, and I'm going to try and explain it. I'm not the best at explaining. So, map sensor scaling. I get a lot of questions when guys are upgrading their map sensors. Um, not even just questions. Sometimes I'll get a tune back to get looked at, and somebody has selected a new map sensor and basically cheated its engine's death doing a pull down the track because of what happens when all you do is select a map sensor. Um, I'll try and show you that today. Today we just have a base uh, Holly uh, turbo config here. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably load something similar to how I do it just to get a little more resolution somewhere around here will be zero fill so when I send out a tune I mean if you're not running 26 pounds of boost obviously I'll change this up top like if you're only running pump gas and never plan to run E85 or something I'll probably have this scaled to like 18 19 pounds I don't go over you know much over 15 16 on pump gas unless i'm tuning it in person and checking the plugs myself but so we'll take this and i'll add this to the timing row let's just say for for easy numbers we'll put this at 30 and we'll put this at 12 well, let's not do that because that might screw this up. But okay, so let's do this. We'll go 12 here. 8 here. Uh, we'll just fill in between. How's that? So it's pretty generic timing table right here. You can see the 0 is at 30. 26 is 8. You know, we got a Holly 3 bar here. So let's say you're switching to, I don't know, even just a, a 2 bar. Let's go custom 2 bar. Yes. We go back. It changes this row. So now we just dropped, you know, our 0 is down here. Now our 0 is up here. 23. 16 is 8 instead of the 12. That's fine. What happens when you go to a bigger map, like some guys will switch to a five bar because we're running a little bit more boost. Then this happens. So now our zero is still 30. I mean, this is a generic table. So this could get worse because sometimes we run, you know, 30, 36 degrees of timing down here. But now look, now at 20 pounds of boost, we're at 25 degrees of timing because this is what happens the whole scaling gets out so when you even if you switch to a five bar let's say you're only running maybe you had a two and a half bar and it's good to 26 pounds now you're you know you want to run 30 pounds so what i would do is i would just come back in here re-put our zeros right that's our max we know at 15 pounds this is where we were before so I bring that back and then I would bring this up and I'd look at this. So once I look at this, then I can say, okay, well, I don't have enough resolution right here. This seems like I got enough. That'd be okay. I'd be happy with that. So then I'd copy this and I'd bring it back to the fuel table. If your fuel table, let's say you were, you know, on E85, you're 153 here. Let's say this was your fuel table at 26 pounds when you're maxing out the map sensor before. So this number is not going to change much going much higher. And or let's say you're at 20 pounds of boost at 153 VE, which is in gas scale mode. Um, I would, you know, highlight that section wherever it is and I'd bring it back down to where it needs to be. Oh, sorry fat fingers 
So I bring that back down. Now we're above 30. So what I would do is I would also do this and I'd probably offset it like, let's say 4% just to be safe. That way you can do a hit and uh, you know, if it's pulling fuel, great. So that's what I would do there. And then it's also telling me I'm out of fuel. So I fill that between you already know this is good because that's where you were before. And then let's say down here on E85, you were one. I'll just guess. Whoops, sorry. 120. This is probably a little higher too. Remember, this is generic. Do not put these numbers in anywhere. I'm just giving you an idea on how to scale a quick fuel map. So there's this, we'll probably smooth this out. And if you look, I mean, that table's not perfect. When you're done, you know, it'll probably, you'll probably have to smooth this area out. You might have to add a little here, but you know up top that you're good there. So that's a quick way of doing a rescale. I try to always base off, so we know at 15 before we run 12, yeah, we already did this, and I'm not really a teacher, so take what I say with a grain of salt, but that's how I do things. Um, hopefully, this will help somebody with the map sensor scaling stuff, because it can get dangerous, like even when this is done, you know, you can go in and change it to whatever you want like it'll screw that whole thing up but your tables will stay the same we want to make sure that when you change the map sensor you change the tables at the same time so anyways if you have any questions let me know i'm going to try and do a little more videos of just explaining why we do what we do and then uh hopefully it helps people like obviously i can't tell you how to tune your car there's just too much involved so all right have a good day